The internet has always been fascinating since the late 90s, it has been growing tremendously and shows no signs of slowing down. The internet has changed the lives of many since it was introduced, introducing so many things, both good and bad. On August 8, 1991, the internet had nothing more than a single page web page that was not only static, but had no styles, rather than cold lines of texts appearing like a notepad page. It exists up to now, you can click on the link in the description to view it. This was Web 1.0. Then Web 2.0 came by, the one most of us know about, the one we've used for now up to two decades. Being dynamic, stylish, and bringing a feeling of being, made it look so nice that it was our next generation of the internet. Some of the best applications were introduced such as YouTube, where you could navigate to have different tastes and views. And now a new thing has come by, the beginning of another phase of the internet. The Web 3.0, or let's use the word metaverse. It is still in its early stages and looks confusing, but think of how Web 2.0 took a whole decade being improved. Web 2.0 was nice, it delivered every detail it was meant to deliver, and we'd say we were comfortable with it, but it lacked a few things which the Web 3.0 is promising to deliver. This important aspect includes owning a part of the internet. You see, when we used Web 2.0, we never owned things on the internet but the platforms which we use to navigate own them. Take, for example, using its old name, the Facebook, which was later called Facebook and now turning to Meta, which is a Greek name meaning a new beginning and the short of the metaverse. When you upload a profile photo, the photo is your photo, but you don't own it, it's logically owned by Facebook. And now Web 3.0 brings about being the owner of a part of the internet, you would use an example of NFTs. The non-fungible token, which means you can purchase digital content and own it. Take for example Jack Dorsey, founder and CEO of Twitter and Square sold his first tweet as an NFT for over $2.9 million on a bidding platform Valuables which is run by Cent. This tweet which says, just setting up my Twitter, was first posted on March 21, 2006. Despite being in Jack Dorsey's account, the tweet is not his and is owned by someone else attached to his identity. This is just one example of one thing that can be owned on the internet. There is a video I uploaded about it careers you can learn you can check it up in the top right corner and I'll be uploading another one soon including the blockchain courses, keep in touch to enjoy. Stick until the end and I'll give you a nice fun fact that may be helpful. Another example of owning part of the internet is the gaming trending strategy of owning land and property in the gaming world. This might be a great investment if you take it seriously and wisely, since when the metaverse comes about completely, if the game you invested in is well established. You can use your property or space to be rented out for gaming and you can make improvements to make it better. You can also sell the land at a higher This might look pretty confusing, but looking back in the late 90s, the internet was confusing just as the metaverse is. And only those who figured it out correctly were lucky enough, the likes of Amazon and Facebook. The second feature of this next generation of the internet is feeling involved in the world of access. Let me use an example on this too. Let's take an example of video calling or gaming. Video calling came so soon and has changed how we see things. Being able to see our friends in real time on our devices as we communicate. But it's lacking something, feeling ourselves involved in the world they are. They are only stuck in the screens of our devices. But now Metaverse changes this, we can see, feel and involve ourselves in the world, where we can meet with our friends and do things including gaming, discussions, studies, etc. This is with the help of virtual reality and augmented reality glasses. We have been stuck to our phones for more than a decade now, since the world-changing news of Tim Cook, bringing an era of smartphones into our lives, 
with his nice quote one more thing which Mark Zuckerberg the well-known founder and CEO of Facebook has inherited. He is now being seen as the Tim Cook of the next version of the internet who bought the Oculus VR for $2 billion in 2014. Virtual reality has been getting in touch and bringing people to virtual worlds and bringing new experiences. With the metaverse, you can meet your friends in a space you desire and do several good kinds of stuff like reading, hanging around, partying, gaming, and many more things. Metaverse will be joined with multiple things to bring a bigger experience and huge advantages including blockchain for security and privacy as Mark describes, being the first priority. I hope this is true, since I take privacy quite seriously. According to Google Mark describes Metaverse as a virtual reality construct and this is where you could redesign your real space like your house to fit in things from the virtual world and can only be viewed virtually. And for those who would want to involve themselves in both the real and the virtual world simultaneously, there comes the augmented reality glasses. These are still in their early development stages and are expected to grow tremendously. Facebook brought all its Arkansas and VR-related initiatives under one umbrella, called the Facebook Reality Labs, FRL. In the metaverse, Zuckerberg said, people will be able to create Arkansas tags attached to real-world locations to create art and all stories. I hope you imagine. This is where they are making huge developments, and by the end of this decade, a lot will have changed and even more, possibilities will arise. I guess this is the best opportunity for those who had no chance in the first and second round of the internet to show the world what they can do best. We shall see the next Amazon in 2030, and there another Jeff Bezos will arise. Take the opportunity when it arises, be a wise consumer or an intelligent producer. It's time for a fun fact, did you know? If you make ice cubes with tap water, they will be white, and if you use boiled water, it will be transparent. This is one of the reasons we are told to boil water for consumption. Wait, if you're still watching this video I wanna let you know that you're the best part of me. I wish to see you in the virtual world soon and have fun together since you mean a lot to me. Thanks so much for watching, subscribe to this channel if you're new.